Hello again. Uh, welcome back from Alessandro. And Abe. Okay. In last episode, we, were, we have seen how to apply uh, filters to images, how to create color buffers. Uh, what are we going to do in this episode now, Abe? So there is a, a higher level approach, which is using this compositor. Mm -hmm. And so we can have layers as uh, in, I don't know, programs like Photoshop or, or similar. GIMP, yeah. stuff like this. Yeah. Okay. And then we can uh, basically combine layers. And yeah. we want to show you how this uh, higher level way of combining layers works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So we need the compositor or X, but we have it already. So, yeah. okay. So we need to, what do we need to do? First, so we are going to create a compose object. Mm -hmm. And that this is how we draw it later on the screen. And we can have then multiple layers. We can start with something basic just mm -hmm. by having the image. Mm -hmm. So we can. So let's let's do basically a compositor that doesn't do anything. We yeah. just draw one, one of uh, like the, the image we were using before and uh, mm -hmm. uh, display it yeah. on the screen. Okay. So let's see. So we're gonna have here this compose. Uh, mm -hmm. Have to import it. Import from compositor. Mm -hmm. And importantly, yeah, we need a draw call yeah. in here. I think it's a draw block where mm -hmm. we're going to draw, draw something into this composite mm -hmm. layer. Oh, layer or And yeah. later we draw this composite onto the screen. Okay. Like we do here composite yes. draw, drawer. Perfect. So now to draw into the composite object is as simple now, for instance, as calling uh, this block, moving this block inside the draw call. Mm -hmm. okay. We can deactivate the blur for now and uh, yeah. Uh, Too many arguments for draw. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, but maybe we should start with something more simple, like okay, this. okay, okay, like just yes, uh, putting something like a circle. Mm -hmm. mm, how did they do it? Draw a circle. circle, and I'll just put it on the corner. Uh, maybe I have to import something or import extension function layer layer draw. Ah, I was missing okay. that. Okay, so this this now works. Yeah. Uh, what happens if we uncomment? This should work as well. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So it was just an import missing. Yes. Um, and how does this run? All right. And you can see also one interesting thing is that even if we are creating this block <coughs> outside of the extends block, this draw mm -hmm. method is updated on every frame. Right. That's why the blur is animating. Yeah. That's okay. why here super. seconds is used for moving the spread value. Super, super. Okay. So this basically, uh, I can see that uh, the IntelliJ is calling the the variable passed to the compose method as layer, mm -hmm. and it's suggesting how we should think about them as mm -hmm. layers. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Good. Um, so we can look at an another example. Here they are. They have two layers, mm -hmm. and they are using blending. So we can try the different blend modes to. Exactly. Yeah. So let's try to do this then. Let's have two layers and two images. Okay. Okay. So I will do load image two. I will call it image one. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we have another image from Turner, mm -hmm. which is called Turner two. <laughs> and uh, and now we have a bit of an issue with uh, the dimensions of the color buffers because. Should we start without? Uh, yes, yes. Let's start without because the the images may have different dimensions, so we have to select which mm -hmm. one to associate to the color mm -hmm. buffer. Exactly. Okay. Image one. Uh, mm, we I'll don't need comment to out quit. the GUI and clean up the imports. Mm -hmm. 
So what's happening? We just load two images. We are drawing so one. far one. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's look at how they do it here. There's a layer, and inside mm -hmm. there's a draw method. So we wrap basically this piece of code in uh, a layer yeah. object. Mm -hmm. And the, fun, the, the thing is that we can, uh, yeah, then we, we can ask OpenRender to uh, blend mm -hmm. with some blending algorithms uh, the, the, the different layers. Yeah. OK, so image two. Um, fit method, I'm going to use the same. Mm -hmm. Fit method right. dot contain. Yes. Now, outside of this layer, we can tell, uh, we can instantiate a blending mode. Right. right, because if we don't do that, what will happen? That only the second layer must will be visible. Let's right. See, just for sanity check, that's yeah. the. It's good when <laughs> you know the framework follows your intuition. Uh, exactly. So we exactly. see here the second image, but not the first but not one. Not the first one. All right. And how, so we add here as so, part. So basically we see that the layers are ordered. Yeah. So the first one is one on the bottom. The second one is one on the top. Mm -hmm. But yeah, as the example suggests, let's apply multiply. And multiply should make the image darker. Do because... we apply this inside the last layer or outside, inside the last layer? Inside the layer, yeah. Mm -hmm. And let's see, what do we get? Well, we should get a pixel by pixel multiplication of the two layers. And we can see that this, uh, it is, uh, is it happening? Yeah, we can yeah. see that. You can see the different size. Exactly. So at the bottom area, you only see the one of image which is larger. Yeah. And in the center, both of them are visible. Mm -hmm. Cool. And we can just quickly try, instead of multiply, uh, yes. maybe add. Where do we find the list of uh, available? Uh, blending modes. Right. Th that we can find in the FX section here, in ORX, mm -hmm. ORX FX. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning, we have the typical style blend. So we could have something that is like screen or subtract. This yeah. Usually they give some mm -hmm. nice, yeah. funny effects. And there's even these additional mm -hmm. modes. Mm -hmm. I was first want to try add. add. Okay. And I'm just going to remove a bit of code here so we can see the whole program. So now, yeah, should be a much brighter um, result because it adds, yeah. Yes. Both images. Exactly. And which one did you mention? Uh, subtract. subtract. Yeah. Subtract. Um, yeah. What will this? I guess it's definitely darker than with add. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I guess the the larger image is shown unmodified, yeah, and then on the center yeah. is abstracting the other yeah. image. And so, what about we introduce a third layer? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I expect then the multiplier, uh, the, the blending mode will apply from the top to the yeah. to the bottom, right? Uh -huh. So let's let's have another layer. So we uh, need a new image. We could also do something. How about we apply a blur to one of the two images or one of these per turp, uh -huh. and then we can use that. Wow. As a... For that, I think we can do something this aside, mm -hmm. or I don't know if we need that. Okay. Yeah, I just know that it's possible to create. I haven't tried that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yes, layers can be nested aside. Asides, yeah. yes. So you can create layers that are not by default visible, but you then mm, combine them later. Oh, okay. But, okay, first, how if we wanted to have a layer with blur? Mm -hmm. uh, I, was, I was thinking of something very simple, just instantiate a blur, get a ah, color buffer. You know, we don't need to instantiate the blur ah. because there's the post. Ah, right. This makes it super easy. Oh, right. Okay. So we create a layer, uh, we draw the image, and then we apply a post processing effect, this mm -hmm. ap approximate, approximate Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur. Why, okay. not? Why not? Layer, draw, mm -hmm. um, layer, draw, and then after the draw, we apply oh. the effect. Am I missing a bracket? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, import extension. And in the function. first layer, we, c we could draw image two. Just yeah. to have image two, image one, image two, yeah. and see 
So image two, I'm going to copy from here. And, and then put a blend mode in the second layer. Mm -hmm. mm, here, a blend mode mm -hmm. to combine these two. Yeah. What if, what kind of blend mode? Uh, Another subtract? Uh, <laughs> is there something like, let, let's go again to the blend modes just for fun. <laughs> Uh, I think a subtract could be screen, interesting. Screen. Mm -hmm. Also. Yeah. How does do you know how the screen looks like? I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, uh, like I used to remember how the algorithm works for a game. Uh, you know why I was thinking of using subtract? Yeah. It's because if you subtract an image from exactly itself, okay. you get black. Right. But if it's a blurred version, ah, you don't get black. Yeah, then like you will this. get something. Something else. else. I like this. Yeah. But how do you know how now the the approximate Gaussian blur parameters are... Uh, no. No, okay, let's find and, out. And I think uh, we can set this here because you can see this. Okay, mm -hmm. so we can probably we can send it like window or spread, uh, like yeah. gain, yeah. like put... Yeah. I don't know, yeah. we can again control click and see the default values, which think, are... Yeah, it's one for the spread. Well, one trick I do sometimes, I just copy this. Yeah. And I just uh, put it inside here. Yeah. So these are the defaults. Mm -hmm. So put spread at 4 and window at 10 and gain at 1.3. <laughs> Why 1.3? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to be interesting because gain is going to increase the brightness. Mm -hmm. And then that means we're going to subtract more. But wait, wait. Uh, all right, right, right. That's true. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. We're making a here like a, <laughs> mm -hmm. a hot pot of weird pixels. Exactly. Uh, oh, <laughs> dark. okay. Yeah. I what? kinda like it. There is space, you know, there's all this black bar yeah. and uh, what if we use a lower gain? Will it be brighter yeah. then? Because we subtract less here. Uh yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm, I don't think it is a masterpiece. No, it's not a masterpiece. <laughs> it, it used to be before we touched it. Used it used to be before, <laughs> right? But uh, we don't know. Maybe the author would have been happier <laughs> in 2023. <laughs> such. We don't know. But okay, so in this video, we have seen how to use composite, how you can use different layers. And as you can see, this is exactly the same procedure you would mm -hmm. use in a, a, a tool like Photoshop or GIMP. Mm -hmm. Works exactly the same. And uh, how easy it is yeah. to apply. Mm -hmm. One interesting point to when you compare this to uh, the previous video <coughs> is that we didn't have to create color buffers, mm -hmm. you know, we, because we can use this post processing effect. Exactly. So, so everything taking... is done for you, like yeah. under the hood. Yeah. Okay. It makes it easier. Super. So. Okay. Um, maybe we do another episode and where we make more experimentation. Exactly. Yes. That's that sounds good. And maybe we can. Uh, we can, uh, yes, animate things more. Yeah. Let's, let's say like this. Let's okay. check it. See you in the next episode. <laughs> See you.